Hello, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Vanessa. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. What about you? I'm pretty good. Just uh, a little bit surprised by how much traffic is in San Salvador. Um, uh, yes. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> yeah. It's terrible. I imagine tomorrow it's going to be even worse. So that's about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you're going to rest tomorrow. More or less. Um, I also I also give private classes and I have other students from different places. So I also have to give I have to work tomorrow. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. But it's not it's not the same. It's not like it's not like a normal day because I don't have this class. I don't have the next class. So it's a short day. Oh, OK, <laughs> short day. Yeah. How about you, Vanya? What are you going to do tomorrow? Uh. I'm planning stay time, uh, spend time with my daddy, my, with my daddy because he is his birthday. Oh wow, that's cool. Yeah. Are you gonna go anywhere or just stay in the house, or do you have any plans? Uh, I'm thinking to go to another place. Okay, great. But I'm not sure where. <laughs> okay. I'm still thinking. Uh, the typical, right? Until the last moment. Ah, let's do uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> I was checking and believe me, it's very difficult. This kind of test. Awful. <laughs> I was lost yesterday. Okay. Because of the time, but now I'm practicing. I'm trying to do some exercises online mm -hmm. to get more, um, to be more efficient in this area. That's great. Believe me, it's very common. Um, that's why I always tell people to relax, don't get nervous, because the first time, oh my God, no. No es para mí. It's, it, 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 it. <laughs> <laughs> and I always, I know, I know because it's a, it, it's not an easy test. It's a very difficult test. It's so much information. There are so many different topics that not even in your life do you talk about the things. And then you have to, yeah. and then you have an exam on it. And it's, it's sometimes a little bit scary. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, I will be honest. I'm very nervous about that. Um, but you said that you have taken this test several times, right? Yeah, several times. Okay. Yeah, I um, I'm trying to take uh this test for uh for teaching. Ah, okay. So then you only need to do the one in Centro Cultural. The the $60 or $65 toy, it's TOEFL, that's it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just okay. because there are many, there's the TOEFL, there's the toy, there's the IELTS, there, there are many different types of exams. And I don't remember, but before the El Salvador, the government used to accept CASAS. I don't know if they still accept CASAS as an exam. Uh, for your uh, degree but before they used to accept casas and casas was really good because it was very cheap it was only like 20 or 25 dollars oh really yeah and but they uh, you could only take it at the american school it was the only place in el salvador but um uh, but they used to accept it in order for you to get your degree or to be certified as a teacher i don't know if um, with the new changes in government and everything, they changed it. But before you could take that exam too. Yes, because as I know, uh, government is asking for a TOEFL result to take yeah. that calafón. I don't know certificate. Yes, yes they asked uh -huh. for um, they asked for a TOEIC or well, before it used to be TOEIC or TOEFL or or many different exams. So it was only about which one you wanted um let me see i got i got my escalafon in 2005 so 
in that time it's been a long time a long time yes yes i still have that a long yes time. yes it was a long time ago that i got my certification <laughs> oh that's nice it's what i'm looking for <laughs> yeah all right well guys i see we have many people connected that's wonderful excellent um and we were just talking with vanessa for those that came in a little bit about the exam and some situations remember here we are here to practice the ideas little by little um, that way you understand how the exam is structured you understand the types of questions i know that the first time you take the practice test is like oh oh my god <laughs> I, 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 it's yeah. all you get scared. I know. I know. Yeah. I told Vanessa, I, I have taken the exam many times. Um, as I mentioned to you the first day, the exam is only two years maximum. And then if you work at academies or schools or others, you have to continue taking and continue. Every two years, you have to take and take. So I have taken the exam many times. I understand how you feel because is how I felt the first time I took the exam. The first time... I didn't have a course. Only I went to the exam and Dios lo bendiga. And then I, <laughs> it was a little bit scary. But now I know how to prepare and I know what to expect. So the same thing for you. The most important is how to save your time. This is the most important. Saving your time and being able to identify answers quickly. Today, we're going to go ahead and continue. And we're going to try to work on the other questions that we have. I'm going to share my screen with you in just a moment. But first, any questions, any comment, anything that you would like me to explain again that is not clear from Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday's class? I don't know, teacher, a question uh, about the TOEFL course. I don't yeah. know, it's a preparation for the exam. Correct. Okay, um, I got that. I will get that that exam in a institution private in another institution, no, no English corporativo. Correct. Okay. Okay. Uh, you mentioned about the cost twenty five or I don't know. Uh, depend if if I want to study at a university in another countries, right? Yeah, so so okay, not if, five, if, but yes, the other if information. I want, for example, if I want to 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 apply to apply um a call center work, for example, job, um help me TOEFL exam. No, 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 ah, no. okay. Is in order uh I'm going to study in English in a university. It's for yeah, like a student or teacher. Yes, this is one, and the other is for immigration. These, ah. are, these are the two that it, it's for academic or for immigration. These are the two functions of the exam. Okay. If you need, and when I mention academic, is not only in another country, as the example with Vanessa. Vanessa mm -hmm. needs because in El Salvador. If she wants to be a teacher, she needs the TOEFL, the TOEFL certificate. Uh, yeah. okay. So it is not, it's not only for uh, travel to another country, but it's for academic, anything academic, teacher, trainer, um, educator, or immigration. Then you need it. Okay. But if okay. you want to work online, if you want to work in a call center, if you want to uh, be an interpreter, you do not need it. Is uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And very good for asking, Walter, because it's important to have the expectations clear. What is the function and why you use it or you wouldn't use it? This is the most Did, important. Teacher, may I? Of course. Of course. Yes. Wow. I would like to be an interpreter, but yes. I don't know where to get the, the courses about. Well, there's actually quite a few different places where you can be an interpreter. In El Salvador, there are many different organizations where you have. Near Reondel Masferer, do you know Reondel Masferer? Yes, I know. Okay, so I, I'm i trying to place it. It's you go up after the church, going to um, 
El Carmen. And oh, okay. you go up to El Carmen, um, and there's about one, two, three, four, five blocks north. And to the left, there is a brown building that accepts um, interpreters. And they, they start off by giving you different types of work. There is interpretation and translation work. In Santa Elena, there is another one as well. The easiest way to find them is just look for interpreters and look for the companies that offer the service and then ask the companies directly. Oh, maybe in, I don't remember the name of that. Uh, advantage, no, no, no. Yes, that's Something what, like Edificio, that. Edificio Advantage, yes. Oh yeah, Avante, Avante, yeah. Yes. I suppose over there, yeah. Oh, very good. But there are many different areas. Those are some of the ways. Um, another yeah. way is you can apply directly, like in the case that Walter was mentioning, there are there are many call centers in El Salvador that offer interpretation positions. There are different, yes. there are different interpretation positions. There are positions where you get paid per minute for the interpretation for every minute yeah. you are speaking. And then there are other positions in other call centers where you receive a salary. It's yeah. it's up to you and you have to determine what is best for you and what position you like. Yes, um, because, well, you know, so, so many times I, I have uh, received people who doesn't speak Spanish, so I have to translate to them, but it is not the same translation than uh, interpretation, right? Because mm -hmm. simultaneously, it is not the for me. It's difficult to do it because I haven't I haven't received any curse about. Yes, um, another Sandra is you can take a online course and online certification uh, uh -huh. for translations, and then you can do uh, you can also do translations and transcript work online. There are many many different jobs that you can have. It's just the one that has the best for you and your lifestyle, your skill set. If you like typing, if you like speaking, if, because there are many different ways. People think that interpretation is Walter is speaking Spanish and I speak in English. And this is one of them, but there are other positions. There's the other where Walter speaks uh, Spanish, waits, then I speak English to you, wait, then you speak to me. So it's not simultaneous. There are many different, and each one has different functions and different costs and different benefits. So the most important, Sandra, is I recommend that you think about which job you want, if that is the job that you want, and then begin slowly gaining a little bit of experience in the field or area and trying it out. Sandra, it's okay? Type two. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. All right. Well, I guess those are <laughs> a little bit of parentheses for, for our, all of the people. But hey, if you want, it can also help you, not necessarily only for the two of them, but there's always many positions available. Um, we are going to go ahead and continue then if there are no other questions in regards to yesterday. And yesterday we were looking at and we were trying to answer a couple of the questions from here, from the reading. Today, we're going to make sure that we understand the reading and we're able to answer it. OK, now this one here, we're going to have yes. you can see one paragraph and you want to answer it according to the paragraph. That means the information is in the paragraph. OK, in the next one, the same thing. The information is in the paragraph. So you can see numbers eight, nine, and 10, all of that, and 11, of course, are also in the paragraph. So all of these, the other ones, we have the information from there, okay? Now, at the end, we have a little bit different. At the end of this, which is here, in this final paragraph, we're looking at inference. If you remember, inference is, you are not going to find it directly in the paragraph. Here, you must, you must read the entire paragraph. In the others, you can skim and you can scan. It's a great technique to save time because you only need to identify, is this information there or is this information not there? But in inference, you must understand to get it. So 
one more time. Remember, when they say except, when they say according to, you can use the technique of skimming. Here are my four options. Let me find this. Is in here? Okay. Is not in here? Okay. That's easier. It saves you time. But when you see something that says inference, or it can be inferred, it can be understood. Um, those are the words that oof, read the paragraph. It's okay? It's okay. Okay. Now, remember, when you read the paragraph, you are not going to understand every vocabulary. This is normal. This is normal not to understand every vocabulary. Today, because we are practicing and we are studying, feel free to ask your partners to look it up, to try to get it, because that is the function, to try to expand our vocabulary. Little by little, we want to eliminate the idea of looking for the vocabulary. And we want to use the technique of understanding according to the other words in the context. In the other words in the context, do we understand? We don't understand. Uh, we can interpret what is the meaning of those things. Bless you, Fatima. Um, so the other things are always, you're welcome, uh, always making sure that we get the ideas. So one more time, we're going to start with our partners. We have some time, so don't worry. The important is that we get it correctly. We're going to have according to, try to use the technique of skimming and scamming. If difficult for you, it's okay because it's not common for us to do in our jobs. It's not common for us to do in our life. Imagine when was the last time you and try to find information quickly. Not normal. Normally you have to read everything, right? So this is the part at the end. So, okay. Okay. Yesterday we finished. If you did not finish numbers four, five, and six, okay, please review. We're going to check them. We're going to make sure. And then we're going to go, you're going to go on with the other ones. Because there, okay. are, there are many articles, as you can see. Don't worry. Oh, Jefferson had a question. My apologies, Jefferson. No, don't worry. Uh, teacher, please could you repeat when we will read all the complete it, the complete text yes jefferson great question and always always in this exam and in the class always is necessary to read the complete text when you see this when you see these types of instructions it can be inferred or when you see this type of instruction it can be understood this is the key for read everything because this means the answer is not in there and you have to comprehend the reading to answer. Okay. It can be understood or it can be inferred. Okay. That's it. But when you see according to, it means that yes, the information is there. You don't have to understand everything. Only you have to match which ones are there. Okay. Which ones are negative effects of the, um, in this case, which negative effect did the building of irrigation ditches create? So here I need to find these four and then I need to find is positive or negative. And that's it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, remember, this is a skill. What does that mean? This means that the skill needs to be developed. You are not going to have it the first time. The first time, maybe you need to start reading and reading in order to understand it according to except. This is normal. The idea is for you to try not to read all when it says according to and except. Only read all when it says uh, it can be inferred or it could be understood. That way you start to practice the different techniques to try to make sure you save your time, which is very valuable in the exam. Any other questions? Okay, about the, the evaluation. Yes. We're going to do it uh, during the class or it has no. to be? In this moment, we're going to do it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. We're going to make groups of three. and um, We're going to have 
Uh, we're going to take 15 minutes. If you are not finished, don't worry. The idea is we see how much you advance, we check together, and then if we need more time, we do more time. The important is to learn to do it correctly, not to complete it. Not The objective is not complete. The objective is do it correctly. Learn how to do it. Because only we, ah, think Marin, tu, 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 tu. I complete it. No, 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 no. It's not for completion. It's for making sure we understand. Okay? Uh-huh. No, no. I, I, I like to mention because I know that some people, I no termina, no termina. Hey, this is not the objective. It's not the objective is to finish. The objective is to understand, to get the correct answer. Because in the exam, if you only put B, 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 you finish in two minutes. But you are not going to have any points. <laughs> Believe me, I got frustrated yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Yo no dije tu nombre, fíjate, Vane. Pero okay. <laughs> but that way we understand. Relax. That's why we have our partners. Don't get frustrated. It's with a skill. Like all skills is with practice. We develop it and get better. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, let's start with our groups. We have 15 minutes to begin. First, remember to check number four, five, and six that you and your partners finish and that you agree, and then begin the next ones. Daniel? So I'm trying to look for the Fatima, um, are you having some problems? Or do you need some help? And no, I'm um, look for the exercise in the platform. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you agree, I can share my screen, guys. Yeah, sure. Okay. Give me a moment. The teacher said, uh, when the teacher said according to the passage, I don't know, remember, he said, he said, he told us it's necessary to read all the paragraph. The information is there. When, when, when it says according to. Oh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. The information is Plenty there. Passage. Except uh, also the information is there, but sometimes it, when it doesn't appear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The easy one. <laughs> I, <laughs> yes, I think it is it's difficult when uh when we have to infer because sometimes mm -hmm. I I under I understand one thing, but the option that uh the the uh the question provides is it's like uh, it's it's like it's not the answer that I'm looking for. So yeah, yeah. first yes, and also when when it appears it can be understood. So we can start um, answering the questions. No worries. Okay. It says, according to paragraph one, 
what conditions allowed people to learn specialized skills? Uh, let me see. Okay. Specialized, specialized. I can connect to the platform. Okay. In the number seven, we are, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I believe it is letter C. They discharge unusual water into the ocean. Mm, I was reading and I think, I don't know, I'm not sure yet, but letter B. Okay. Oh, they use it for water to, oh. In the final, in the final, in the final paragraph, you can find this one. That's right. And yes, let me Two see. Let me see. Letter B. Yes. They use, use cold the water, water to go. Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember read this part. Mm -hmm. Yes, because they are mentioned right about uh uh. Let me see. There are two basic kinds. Right. So, and if we if we see the warp migrate are talking about, they are talking about that people don't need to migrate. Yeah, so that wouldn't be the answer because they're saying that it's not needed to migrate for them to learn a specialized skills. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. I don't see anything about the growth of population either. I mean, I do see it, but I don't think it's the answer. No, I don't think, I, don't think, I think the same. Uh, I think that there is not the answer. Okay. The letter C. Yep, I think the letter C would be the yes, letter C. the answer. Okay, so we can move on to the question number eight. The question says, according to paragraph one, why did people migrate before the Neolithic Revolution? So option A says to search for better climates, B to improve trading skills, C to avoid enemies, D to find food.
I guess it would, it would be the letter C. Yes. Uh -huh. The subgroup of farm products. Mm -hmm. Farm products, yeah. Okay, then. According to paragraph one, why did people migrate before the Neolithic revolution? The, the letter D. To yeah, find right. mm -hmm. And, okay, this is another. According to paragraph two. Confused. Confused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And do we have to finish all? Uh, I think yes. Go ahead. Let's, let's continue. continue. Let's continue. <laughs> okay. Number nine. Mm -hmm. Number ah, nine. this is another different. This is another different. Uh huh. According to paragraph two, sickles found in the Eastern Mediterranean are evidence that. Oops. This is the makers of this because I were, were skilled craftsmen. What grasses were eaten uh, before, I guess, is domesticated grasses. The sickles were useful for fishing and hunting, and grasses were cut down for food consumption. Yes. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, let's uh, let me try to read the paragraph. <laughs> let's see if I can understand. Okay, recent evidence seems to indicate that why the Neolithic Revolution first took place in the Middle East in the valleys of the Tigris, Euphrates. I don't know how surplus crops were regular, the population was large enough. Uh, let's see. Maybe. Uh, oh wait, <laughs> we need okay. to we need to read the paragraph. I mean, we need to scan and scan. Uh, let's see. Be, uh, and the the surplus were therefore uh, every other. Not only supply water to the field, but also brought down the soil. Again, it's killed the land in the area. Uh, so the cultivation uh, was expanded uh, when people uh, learned crops. So the river. Uh, I think I I will go with. Letter B. B, yes. Yeah, because okay. it says that in the form of part two, more sediments. Mm -hmm. Okay. Letter B. Yes. Number Why 11. Did early Why did early thick <laughs> irrigation ditches? I don't know stuck. what's that. I must say. But and... Okay, I got it. Uh, to increase the green areas, to enlarge you the forest areas, to grow the production, to uh, water the early The rural forest is being deposited by all these early farmers to continue cultivation of seeds and to grow cultivation without the exception of the fertility of the soil. The crocodiles were big, therefore, available to a large population in Rome. The area available for cultivation was expanded when people were to leave. I think it's a letter E. A. To increase the the growing areas. Yes. D. Yes, that's right. All right. It's more clear than yesterday. <laughs> oh, yes. Believe me, I was lost. I got frustrated. I feel the same too. <laughs> In my case, I did the top of this. Oh, really? Yes. I did the TOEFL test because I graduated at the university. Oh, and you and you got the the, the points required. Yes, 
500. Oh, really? 500. That, is the, that is the punctuation for teaching? 551, believe it. But nowadays, uh, the, 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 the Ministry of Education has created. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look. I know that many people were able to finish up around number nine and 10. We're going to go up to that and then we're going to go back again to our groups. But we want to make sure that we're doing okay and we're understanding. I'm glad to see that now many groups are getting a little bit better, understanding a little bit more and how to use the different techniques. Okay, so let's start off first. Um, If you can help me remember, what did we select for number? Oh, no, we didn't select number four, right? Number four, five, and six. For according to the passage, what can be inferred about the factor that allows Oceana to be used as an energy source? Don't worry, we're going to check together. Mm -hmm. It was D? D, okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about number five? Letter B. Yes, letter B. Letter B. Okay. And number six? Six. Um, <clears throat> again, B. 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 All right. Yes. Letter B. Letter B. No problems. We're going to talk about it in just a moment. Good. What about number seven? Number seven? Number C. Letter, 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 letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Letter D. D. No. No. I guess letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Okay, don't worry. We I see we have a little bit of discussion there. That's okay. That's great. That's great. And now we can understand. We're gonna find out what happened in a moment. Number eight. Letter D. To find food. To yeah. find food. Okay. Letter D. Number nine. Letter D. Letter D two. Letter D. Letter two. D. Okay. Yeah. And I think number ten was most of the groups got up to. What was number? Yeah, we didn't finish. Hmm? We didn't. <laughs> no, this one. This one, no. 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 Okay, no problem. No problem. That's the idea. The idea is little by little. Like I said, we want to make sure that we do it correctly and not go quickly. Okay. Yes. Let's take a look. Make sure that we understand our answers first. And we can take a look at all of the ones that we have. We'll start with number four. Okay. So that we can see and I'll help you explain. I'll help you understand if the answer is incorrect. So as we can see in number four. We chose letter D. Letter D. That is correct. You see? No yes. problem. Number five as well. Great answer. Number six as well. Then we started to get a little bit more where we're wondering what happened. Okay. Number seven, we agreed. Everybody, we had between letter C and letter D. Okay. I heard some people mention letter D. The question is, what allowed people to learn specialized skills? Here it says, mm, people right here, some could learn now specialized skills as crafts or trade. Ah, so here is the information. And we want yeah. to ask why. Okay. So before it tells us uh, the surpluses of crops and animals meant that not all the population needed to dedicate their time and energy to farming. So the idea is that now is not necessary only to farm. We have more things for farming than we need. This is going to be the idea for surplus. That's why it's letter C. And not the next one, the spread of settlements. Because the spread of settlements only gives more specializations, but not created the specializations. Is that okay? Mm. 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, sure. Good. Good. Then we have number eight. Uh, very nice. A good job as well, which was letter D. And number nine, which is our last one, which we also chose number or letter D. In this moment, we're going to go ahead and continue. We're going to go on with number 10, another 15 minutes. It should be enough for us to finish the other exercises. Exercises number 10, 11, 12, and probably the last paragraph, which is three questions. Okay. Yes. If not, we'll come back and check. Again, now we're going to change groups again. I recommend if you have the possibility for one person to share the screen, that way everyone can look and discuss or to have the screen in your computer so you can discuss. That way everybody knows uh, where you're talking about or where it is. Okay. Okay. All right, perfect. Let's try it one more time. Daniel, do you have problems connecting? Daniel? For tomorrow's assignment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do we agree? Let it be? Yeah, for me, yes. Yes, okay, I agree too. On 11, according to paragraph 4, why did early Neolithic build irrigation ditches? Okay. And the answer to increase the growing areas, to enlarge the fertilized areas to produce crop surplus to water the early camps. Okay. Um, in this one, I think it is letter B as well, because at the end of the paragraph, it says, um, People learned to drop off the river water into man-made irrigation canals and ditches, watering and fertilizing larger and larger areas of land. 
So I think we should go with letter B. Yeah, I agree. Okay. And then we have 12. According to paragraph five, what negative effect did the building of irrigation ditches create? Um, too mm. much salt in the soil, B, a worsening climate, C, this destruction for, for, of settlements, <laughs> D, too much experimentation. Okay. Okay. Because I try to apply the uh, the teacher says uh, I try to find the keywords comprehension. Yeah. Uh, in this case, uh, mm -hmm. in the irrigation. I the yeah. irrigation, irrigation. Ah, when they say, but overall the effect the irrigation system was to press artificial environment. Yeah, that was nice. Okay, so we can move on to the 13. So we have to read this whole paragraph. Would you guys like us to read it out loud or do you guys want us to read it each one by ourselves? Music machine, song mm -hmm. machine were common. No, they were accompanied by music. It was produced as single tennis, a small man. It's very old. I believe it um letter C or catch cool synchronous song with the picture because Mencho began song after the very first movie were show with synchronous song character the movie screen could sing and speak. Okay. But I don't know, I'm not sure yet. Okay, we can like read the whole paragraph as the teacher said, because we need to understand what the story is about. I mentioned the in the had a pie and a small bun. Was the same and the fourteen. It can be understood. That the synchronization system could be placed alongside the images developed at the same time as the sound from movies was an important development for talking pictures. Was the guarantee that short feature film or synchronization system? The letter A. Uh -huh. Little A um, will be placed alongside the images. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the same thing, same thing. Ah, uh, yeah, because I it's see. the second paragraph. Uh -huh. Yes. only salt when I read that paragraph. I read the answer could be that that, that the answer is easy to find. Uh -huh. This could lead to a marked increase in so in soil salinity. Yeah. That is the that is the problem. Uh -huh. Let, let it it salt, too much let salt it. in the soil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. That let is it. the right answer. Too much salt in the soil. Yeah, of course. Now let's continue with the number. 13. Yeah. Go ahead. Thing is um history, right? Yeah. History. 
Okay. Okay, perfect. We agree, letter A. Sure. And it can be understood that the synchronization system could be placed along It can be understood that the synchronization system could be placed alongside the images developed at the same time as sound for movies was an important development for talking pictures was a warranty that short feature films could be produced. Uh -huh. Synchronization system. Mm -hmm. Maybe let us see. Or maybe it is letter A because it says research into sound that was reproduced at exactly the same time as the pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe too. But okay, the so... final of the paragraph says that uh -huh. synchronization could be with, uh, could be placed along the images at the final of the paragraph says, uh, mm -hmm. this signal could, will be placed on the film alongside the images warranting synchronization. The signal will be placed on the film alongside the images. Warranting synchronization. I think that is oh. the letter A. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Oh, the, the, the final one. It can be inferred that short feature films produced as early as 1922. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe letter A. Let's Talking see. pictures. Short pictures. I don't work now. Letter B now. Uh, letter C. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. And maybe yeah, it, be it maybe is between uh, letter A or D. Or B. Uh, let's see. Uh, Talking pictures. Uh, as early as 20, as 1922. Short feature films were produced in this way early. This is image of the first talking pictures. Um, it says that this system was only effective for a single song or the dialogue, dialogue sequence, but it is talking about 
gramophone, right? Yes. Um, I don't know, but for me, <laughs> it is as well letter A because it says yeah. short feature films were produced in this way as early as 1922. The system is... Refresh. Okay, guys, are we okay? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, perfect. So as we can see, I see that a couple of groups were able to finish. That's the idea. That's what we want to make sure that we get it. Yes. We're going to yeah. check now to make sure that everything is okay. And I saw some groups were very quiet. Some groups almost didn't speak and others were ah, discussing and analyzing and getting, which is great. That's the idea. So let's take a look. Let me share my screen with you. Okay. All right, this was number 10, exactly. Right. Yeah. Perfect, so for number 10, when we're talking about Egypt and Mesopotamia, we see that the answer was the soil was continuously enriched. Enriched. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's how it allowed them to grow large uh, near food, near large rivers. Okay. According to paragraph four, okay, why did early Neolithic um, build irrigation dishes? What did you decide? What was the reason? I had uh, I had doubts about about the letter A and letter B. Between A or B is one or yeah. the other, right? Okay. Yeah. okay. It, but it's A. It's A to increase the growing areas exactly. Now to here to enlarge the fertilized areas, very good. Only a little bit of difference, and you have to be very careful. Yeah. Increase the growing areas means areas that is not yet, yeah. has, not yet to enlarge the fertilized areas is areas that already have the growth. Mm -hmm. the difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here, the most important was the idea of the word fertilized, similar mm -hmm. to Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. So just like fertilizado, ah, it means already, it already has the growth. Mm -hmm. Another is only the area with the potential to grow. That was the difference. Wow. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. And it's good that we practice here because like this little different word, but that's going to be the idea for the exam. Here, okay. What effect did the building of irrigation ditches create? Soil, soil, salinity. Letter soil. A. Letter A. Yeah, too much salt in the soil, right? Yeah. Talks about salinity. Okay. Yeah. Too much salt. That's what it, the idea. Good. And what about here, in the history books? What can it be? What can be inferred? Here was necessary to read all of it, right? If you try to find only the answer. It's almost impossible if you don't read it carefully, okay? So what can be understood or inferred is um, most movie theaters had a pianist. Mm -hmm. So it's here from the earliest public performances, films were accompanied by full scale, uh, by music and sound effects. So that means at least a single pianist was involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number 14, it can be understood that synchronization system uh, A could be placed alongside the images. 
And that's toward the end. Mm -hmm. And then finally, here it can be inferred that short feature films produced uh, as early as 1992. Wow. This one is put musicians out of work. It says musicians, and I apologize for that. Because I know some of you were thinking, ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué music? the idea was musicians, the M. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we understood that. We understood that. I, <laughs> mm -hmm. So amazing. It's incredible because as you can see, it's really only one practice test in the platform, but we are finished with the week. <laughs> yes. We finished. Yeah. We have 30 seconds, 30 segundos adelantado. We are amazing. We are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, guys, on next week, we're going to begin the second part, which is the listening. Okay. listening. I know listening is going to be a little bit more difficult because you don't have time to analyze. You have to capture in the moment and remember right. it's practice. It's practice. Don't practice. get frustrated. Yeah. Practice little by little. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. okay. Sure. Have a great have a great weekend. I see you guys on Monday. In the see name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.